stuck in my own damn mind. I can't seem to find a way out. Every thought road that I get on seem like some bad coming out of my mouth. All right, what's up, y'all? It's the Thundercat back again. <clears throat> so, let's get right after it. Um, let's see if we can uh, deal with this uh, Islam thing. So, everybody's making the noise, and Trump's uh, temporary immigration ban, uh, which is... Man, everybody is blowing it way out of proportion, especially since multiple other presidents have uh, initiated other bans on uh, some of the same countries, other countries. It just seems it, you have to take some sort of steps when you realize you have a problem coming from certain areas. You just, you have to do it. It's not racial in intent, but... You know, the racism thing and, and xenophobic argument, it's real, you know, that's the the lazy approach to it. Uh, and I think we're going to see why it's just so easy to take that lazy approach. Um, I'm just, I actually have more questions on this probably than I do answers. And I think maybe most people are, are there but the one thing that i do know for sure is that we do have i mean islam is a problem and uh so let's uh let's start taking a look here and and seeing what we got so just by uh you know doing a little research oh, oops um you know find these videos and there's there's tons of stuff to look at and sift through uh, but, you know, here's here's my first problem with Islam. And I know that when people are going to, they're going to, maybe, you know, they'll hear this and they'll go, well, you know, not all. And, uh, but what about Christianity? You know, that's the first way to, to, to muddle up the argument is to throw Christianity in there. And, and I'll make a couple of comparisons to Christianity and I'll, I'll show why Islam is still more of a problem. Uh, so this is, I mean, my first problem is, is uh, you know, Islam, Muslims, they still have a big problem with gays. And I'm still trying to figure out why uh, these social justice warriors are pushing so hard to have, you know, we got to have Muslim immigrants and stuff come in here. But you might as well be bringing a bunch of freaking... Uh, right winger Christian groups from the 50s in here that that you know they were actually racist and they fucking hated gay people, you know, because they were hardcore Bible thumpers. And so you know this gay thing is one of the first things that irritates me. So let's check this out. And he says that homosexuality is permissible. So I said, impossible. He said, no. Impossible. So I said, fine. If he wants to discuss it, then we can discuss it. I myself is homosexual. What he's thinking is, I can't wait to take my stick out and beat the gay out of him. Homosexual, I know what I've been through. I, 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 I got married because I thought that was going to change me. I fasted 80 days every year besides uh, um, um, Ramadan. Asking Allah to help me to just get rid of these things. They haven't moved. I had started with this thing from the age of 12. At the age of 5, I recognized that I was different from other boys. We feel that it's not a choice that we make, that um, somehow the Quran should be speaking about us as well, that we also have rights as human beings. What do you say? Is homosexuality permissible in Islam? Is that what you're promoting? Okay, so, you know, the, the guy, you know, he's, he's trying, because he wants to hold on to a faith that, that really doesn't like him, or agree you know he's begging them to become more progressive and this is historically something that Islam has never been cool with Islam has really not changed in thousands of years 
so you know you're asking them to just you know they they are extremely conservative even the moderates i mean this is why they're getting women to cover up but he's begging for it and he's not going to get it we will consider you a murtad and apostate and out of the fall of islam you would not be buried in a muslim graveyard no muslim person would ever read your sadr janaza we have looked yeah there you go we're going to shun you uh, and obviously we have a different interpretation of what has happened then no person can make interpretation to suit his desires or her desires when you have clear cut verses and when Lord alayhi salatu wasalam peace be upon him when he addressed his people and told them ata'tuna fahisha do you commit and bring that obscene and lewd action where a male fulfills his desire with a maid we cannot just take that. yeah <laughs> uh, notice that he just kind of skates right past that one that he dropped there that nobody can just uh translate the quran the way they choose to to suit themselves um i mean call that cherry picking or whatever and then people are gonna go well you know that's that's what uh you know look at look at the christians man you know they only pick out the certain stuff in the bible that they like bro I'm like well man yeah. um that's because that you know now they're starting to they're evolving you know, Christianity is evolving, and now most people that I know that are Christians, they are totally cool with gay people. They don't have a problem with it. You know that that whole old school Christian stuff is, is fading. Islam is not. Verses from the Quran and and use it as a blank condemnation for homosexuality. When foreigners and guests came into the the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. These men were rushing to murder. All right, so you get the idea there. You know, so that's one of my problems is the whole gay thing. You know, and of course, not all. But, you know, people that, you know, moderate Muslims or whatever, if if you're not going to the mosque or whatever, um, you're, you're not really you're not really a Muslim man if you're not practicing that doesn't make you really a Muslim you might I guess might hold some sort of belief uh, or attachment to Islam maybe your parents were Muslim or something so you still have some kind of shadowy belief in it just like uh you know uh, people that claim to be Christians or whatever and they may have some kind of loose belief in Jesus Christ doesn't really make you Christian that much, man. I mean, if you're not going to church, I mean, I mean, come on. So anyway, and one of the other things that I have a problem with is this Sharia law deal. So we found one of these, and they'll get started. I mean, if you could look over here to the right, you could see that there's all kind of stuff. We could go on and on. Killed by the book. What? I mean, here's my thing. If if you live in Iran, Iraq, Syria, whatever, you want to have that country establish Sharia law as the basis for that particular pocket of society, and you're going to rule under that, um, I guess I'm cool with it. That's a social contract that you choose, your people choose to have, and they can vote on it. Which, voting is not really a part of what Sharia law is about. I mean, the imams are, in, within Sharia law, the imams decide, through their own counsel, what is best for their people. So, you know... You want to do that over there? That's cool, but you can't. You can't come to America. We have the Constitution, and that is our social contract for how we choose to live as an American. 
Some of us are born into that contract. Some of us move here because of what that contract provides, the freedom that it provides, the opportunity that the Constitution provides for everybody. And if you don't think that America is probably the most advantaged place in the world, then you're probably not paying attention very much. Yeah, America has its problems. And we have a few big ones. But it's still a damn good place to come. But that's why people want to be here. And it's not just because of the free shit. So, we can't... We, the idea, even entertaining the idea of permitting Sharia law even in pockets within our constitutionally protected grounds is ridiculous. Yeah, so the argument here is that, well, you know, not everybody does this, man. Okay, no, not everybody, not all, but it does happen a lot. I mean, that's my, always been my argument. How much is enough to where we're going to start addressing this? And I don't think we need to police the world to protect ourselves against Sharia law. I don't think that's our job. But I do think we should protect American citizens from Sharia law. So I'll drop this video in the description box. You can check it out. You can take a look, see what you think. Or, you know, develop an idea. But they've got some graphic stuff in there. And it's, uh, it's not real easy to watch, man. Because you know this stuff happens. Uh, merciful Allah, practiced by the Holy Prophet. Right, I think it's pretty clear that when you start doing your research on Muhammad, you find out that he was a piece of crap. And so the other thing that I have, issue that I have with Islam and the vast majority of Muslims is that they have very little respect for women. And they don't really, uh, they don't really care to, you know, discuss it. They believe what they believe, and they believe that women should be otherized, basically. And they know that, you know, women are not equal to men at all. That's what how they feel. So let's check this out. I mean, the the beating. <laughs> أنا يعني هدي المشاهدين سريعا كلا بعض إحصائيات سريعة عن هذا الأمر. تسعين في المية من نساء بريطانيا ما بيحبوش يتزوجوا من الرجل الضعيف اللي أول ما تحصل أول مشكلة أو أي مشكلة يقعد يعيط يقول لك لا ده الرجل ده عمشك الحريم إحنا عاوزين راجل راجل قضية Honored them with beatings. Oh, don't beat her in the face and fuck her up. <laughs> I mean, this is. Oh. Oh. There's a beating etiquette though. Oh. Okay, and so for people that are go, well, not all. Right here, uh, this guy is the imam, and he has plenty of followers, and quite a bit of influence. 
And he's not the only one that I've heard say this. In fact, let's just, uh, I got another one. Oh, this guy. Uh, I think in the first minute or so at this, he, he says everything that would, should trigger a feminist. <laughs> See, that right there would just trigger a feminist. What? We're delicate? You mean we're different than men? Yeah, screaming at your woman is a good way to get what you want. Yeah, so all of this seems pretty childish. If you're in a, in a marriage, a relationship, the silent treatment is just a control mechanism. Okay. Beater. And beat them. There we go. So, took him a minute to get there, but he finally got there. And he's going to go into this whole thing of like pulling out a toothpick. But he pulls out something that's about six or seven inches long. It looks like a little switch to me. Oh. Uh, yeah, so, you know, this kind of stuff is just, you know, they have reasons to be a woman. It's fucked up. I mean, I don't, I don't get it. Why? First of all, this whole thing about why Muslims believe that their women should be covered up. I mean, you're, you're disgracing the woman's body by saying, we can't have anybody else look at it. Just me, because everybody has, you know, they can't control their impulses or whatever when they see a woman. You see what I'm saying here? They're like, oh. <laughs> and so, you know, women aren't allowed to be seductive only for their husband and only behind closed doors. And so if you start spreading Sharia law around, this becomes more of a thing. And I also think it, that it's completely crazy to force your children, your young ladies, like a girl that went to school with my daughter. Her parents are Muslims and they were cool, but a lot of the stuff that they did, I don't believe in. Like forcing their daughter to wear... A hijab, head to toe, and then put a basketball uniform over that so that she could play basketball. Sweating her ass off. I mean, it's just, it's oppressive. And I don't understand why. See, this is the thing. If all of this was just not being crammed down our throats here in the United States, I wouldn't be... It wouldn't bother me at all. You want to live that way? Live that way. Cool. But don't start forcing those ideas on to me and everybody else because they say, oh, well, you're a bigot if you don't fucking like it. And to be clear here, I am not really cool with any organized religion because it makes people do fucked up shit like this.
So let's be fair about the Islam thing. And that's why I wanted to put the whole terrorism aspect of it to the side. And these social issues, the way that they treat people because of Sharia law. And, you know, I'm the type of person, if I'm going to argue about something, I like to try to do as much research as I can on it. And I'll pick through the Quran. And there's some nasty shit in there. And the comeback is always, well, yeah, but the Bible and the Crusades and, oh, dude, give me a fucking break. Let's stick to the topic. Stop, stop changing the subject when we're pinning you down. The people that disagree with Islam, when we pin you down and go, this is fucked up and they do fucked up shit. And it's not all, but it's a lot. And it's more than it's necessary. And it's more than people want to deal with. And I think the, the reason that people make that argument. And they shift on you so much about it. And then they eventually wind up on the. Well you're bigoted, racist, xenophobic, whatever. It's because they don't have a fucking logical answer for any of this. They don't have a way to solve it. That's fair. For everyone. They don't. I don't. But I know it's a problem. And I know we got to do something. So let's be honest about it. And I think that people do need to start having honest conversations about it. It's, it's, it's going to become more of an issue. The more and more that we're forced. And if we do this immigration thing which I don't have a problem with immigrants but when you're trying to bring people in that have no intentions of living under our social contract and assimilating with the rest of us then we're going to have issues that's just the way I see it maybe other people have answers I don't know drop some comments down see what you think you have any answers of how to solve this or how we're going to deal with it how we're going to protect our own women you know this it's a big deal so let's be fair about this islam thing all right all right till next time thundercat we'll see you later